Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use macros for computer automation. Automate your computer can help you save time and effort. The macro is just like a virtual butler. It works for you, free of charge. Instead of doing actions by yourself, you can use a macro to do them for you. In this example, I will show you how to automatically burn songs to all CD players using a macro. You may ask, why use a macro when you can do it yourself? Well first, not everyone knows how to do this. And secondary, using a macro is a lot simpler, faster, and most important, automatically. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you should do is to download the macro from macrosland.com. Okay, so let's go to macrosland. Okay, we said burn songs. Okay, this is the macro I was talking about. Okay, now what you need to do is to download the macro. Okay, it's, it is hosted in RapidShare. I'm sure you all know of RapidShare. So I, al I already have the macro on my computer, so I won't download it. But as you can see, it's only one megabyte and it's RapidShare, so it's fast and no problem. Okay, and this is the macro I was talking about. Okay, now take a look at uh, the icon. Okay, all the macros you will download from macrosland.com looks like this okay remember it's a uh, a mouse uh, that co it is covered in a uh, cogwheel okay this yellow thing around it so each time you download a macro from macrosland.com make sure it has this icon this way you can make sure that it's not a virus and uh, okay the next thing we need to do is to open the macro let's do that Okay, as you can see, in the bottom right, we have a menu. This is the macros menu. It allows us to control the macro. You can stop the macro, pause it, run it again, or go back one step at any given time. Uh, the menu gives you control over the macro. That, that's why you can make sure it, it is not doing something you don't want it to do. This is the only action that the user is asked to do. Here, we tell the macro which songs we want to burn. I will pick uh, three songs. Okay, Kalimba. More songs, yes. This one. And also this one. Okay, more songs. Okay, from this point, the macro works completely automatically. I will press no, no more songs. Now, as you can see, the macro opens the narrow. It uh, goes to the burn audio file section. It adds the file that I told him to add. And after it will be done, it will start burning the files. Okay, as you can see. For more macros, you can go to macrosland.com. Thanks you for watching. Goodbye.